Nicole, yeah, maybe. this is your first time snowmobiling. Yes. What would you I say? Think, I really feel like we've already stressed that. I have to tell the camera I want one more everyone time. to know this is your first time. Okay, yes. Because you're doing so well that they might not believe it's your first That's time. That's true. <laughs> I'd like to interrupt this regularly scheduled broadcasting of Downey Live for this quick note about Nicole's face. Then I got scared of my hair. <laughs> Nicole would like me to let you know that the mitt warmers inside her gloves exploded, leaving a black powder on her fingers. Then she touched her face, caught the black powder on her face. Directly, I got scared of landing the air, and then I throttled again, and ended up halfway up its embankment. But here's where the breakdown happened. She asked me if she had anything on her face. I said yes. She heard no. And I didn't correct her. So she kept on and... Do you guys do any uh, like competitions? Like are there any... Well, you can see in the footage, she still has it on her face. You know, and I'm, co I'm comfortable with actually how that went. Enjoy the rest of the video. What do you enjoy most about snowmobiling? All right, before we started, we, uh, Nicole and I both got educated on how to work an avalanche beacon just in case. This is adrenaline inducing. It's harder than skiing, it's harder than snowboarding. <laughs> like, it's really hard. It's shoulder day at the gym today, Nicole. Did you get air today? Yeah, I got big air. <laughs> Put a motor between my legs any day and I'll have a good time. I am super stoked this morning, as you can tell. We're in Fernie, BC with Elk Valley Snow Shepherds and we are going snowmobiling. I, I thought snowmobiling was a really cold sport because you're not exerting much energy. So you just bundle up in layers, oh, yeah. you're going fast, but Sweaty I've McGee been, I've been talking about says how cold differently. I'm gonna be for three days and I'm pouring sweat. It's so good though. So let me introduce you. We have Nicole with us from Elk Valley Snow Shepherds and Justin here. Justin will be shredding. You'll see him on the drone soon because uh, well, I have to fly it and I don't think Nicole <laughs> wants to. Yeah, I'll rip around for you, no problem. As yeah. long as you want to just drone somebody stuck in a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just, uh, we're learning a lot and having a lot of fun out here. You're a natural shredder. Totally. Natural brapper. Yeah. What do you, yeah, brapper, that's brapper. it. Do you brapper. call yourself a brapper? No. No, a beeler? <laughs> what do you? A rider. A rider, Sledder. okay. Shredder, sledder. Yeah. Rider. Rider. I like I'm rider. <laughs> Okay, Nicole and I just both put ourselves in the embankment. I actually rolled the snowmobile. Luckily, we're playing in really nice soft snow. No harm done to the sleds or myself. Just come into the warming hut here just to warm our fingers for a second drink some water has everything you need it has a barbecue outside has a wood burning stove inside has a propane stove in case you need it got your facilities here in case you gotta go you know when you gotta go you gotta go it's actually quite cute not much else to it just just a place to warm up really picture this i came into this thinking Snowmobiles were a lot like a jet ski, just floating on top of the snow, steering with the handlebars, a little bit of throttle, that's it. Yes, it floats across the snow, but the ocean or a lake or whatever you're on on a jet ski is always flat. Here, you have slopes, and as soon as you get on that, it starts to tip the snowmobile, and you have to use a lot of counterweight to fight it. Otherwise, you roll, which happened to me. So it's a, it's a full body workout. This guy's so good. He's, so fun to watch. Just come out and play, you know? Here he goes. So Fernie has 160 kilometers of groomed trail, and that groomed trail really is just an mm. access gateway to 
even more. Thousands of acres of backcountry riding terrain. And that's probably what Fernie is best known for. Exactly what you see there is sort of that um, technical tree line riding. We do have lots of um, alpine riding and, and big open bowls as well. So for those of you who are curious, we're rocking the Arctic Cat. Nicole here has a, a 6,000, whatever that means, it's high. And that's a big number, so it's really fast, I'm sure. And here it's a, a Snow Pro, which is now Nicole as well. And, and this says 153, it's, it's got lots of numbers on it. So it's a really good snowmobile. That's how I know. We don't offer that group tour, you know, that lumps 15 strangers together and then you head off down the groomed trails. We totally will do that for a, a family or a group that would like to do it. Our specialty is mostly um, intermediate uh, advanced riders, specifically those coming from the prairies that um, maybe don't have a lot of mountain sense. And our job really is to manage the risk. We know this terrain really well. We know the snowpack, the riding areas, the safety gear. You do avalanche courses and training and all that. So you guys really are the experts in safety. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So, so we're in good hands. <laughs> Heading for a snowbank and I'm like, I'm gonna like take this head on and all of a sudden you're thing is like halfway up and you're like what i think it's just a sense of community and getting out there and it it doesn't matter if i'm out guiding with clients or i'm out with friends it's just you know to be out in nature enjoy it you know share your past your passion with uh with people whether if it's people that are like-minded or if people like you that we can just bring you guys out and, and show you what it's all about so you guys are the elk valley snow shepherds today we were your sheep but I think oh, yeah. we came off the mountain nah. feeling like a wolf. Actually, oh. you know what? That sounded better in my head. But thank you very much for the day anyways, <laughs> Thanks Nicole. Thanks for coming out. That, that was, was awesome. awesome. Yeah, it was so much that was fun. Great. Okay. So Nicole, this is Nicole. I want you to notice that Jerry is the only non-pickup truck in this parking lot. Yeah, it's also the only one from Japan. Sure. <laughs> if you guys liked this, Nicole and I have been winter camping for the last three days. You can watch that video by clicking here. You can subscribe to watch more adventure videos coming out every week by clicking on my face right here. I'm Michael, that was Nicole, that was Justin, and Nicole, thank you for watching. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. See ya.